community accounts for 12 of the 13 deaths, a figure Health Director Dr. Danny Avula calls disproportionate. To that end, uh, our, our hope and our goal is to really try to increase access to testing in communities that haven't had it historically. As such, Avula says they are holding test sites at Hillside, Creighton and Gilpin Courts next week. Mayor LeVar Stoney encourages anyone living in or near there and has symptoms of COVID-19 to call for an appointment. It took time to address what he calls social media chatter. That mistrust of the government is a very real and a very valid concern within our community, particularly in black and brown communities. Stoney says this is not one of those times and pleaded with people to get tested. Our greatest weapon right now is more testing and practicing the social distance guidelines. But Stoney says people need to continue following those guidelines and now is not the time to relax. Officials add in the coming months they'll start discussing what the right pace will be to start reopening. Uh, we've talked a lot about the fact that this will be a phased reopening and so there's active work happening. But Avula adds one thing that needs improvement before that happens is their ability to do contact tracing of cases. He says they need more staff and is encouraging people to sign up with the Virginia Medical Reserve Corps to help. And we will train you and put you to work and I, I see this being a big need over the next two to three months. And the Richmond School Superintendent Jason Cameras also gave an update to their food distribution program taking place at 55 sites right now. He says they will continue the program until school reopens. And as staff confirmed with me, that means into the summer months as well. And they're working out the details on how to continue that. Working for